Hey there, Ralph Velasco here at Matapalo Beach on the Oso Peninsula in Costa Rica. My next video is about the Sierpe River and a cruise that we do, so stick around. We fly in on a small airplane from the capital of San Jose to Puerto Jimenez in the Osa Peninsula. Then early morning, we make the approximately one and a half hour drive to the start of our Sierpe River adventure. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Sierpe River in Costa Rica. This is a wonderful trip that we do on my Costa Rica Explorer trip. And I'm about to do it with some friends. I've done it in the past with clients. And uh, here we are on the Sierpe River itself. And I'm gonna give you a tour of what we're gonna see and do in this area. The resort where we stay provides a huge cooler chock full of goodies for us to enjoy throughout the day. So we just got to the start of the Sierpe River cruise and we came in our Crocodile Bay wonderful van. This restaurant is a great kind of meeting point for everyone to uh, find their boats, have a little lunch, have a drink, use the bathrooms. This is our wonderful local guide, Alberto. Alberto, you ready to hit the road? Ready. Hit the river. Beautiful weather and good people. Yeah. Are enthusiastic. We got a real nice group. Yeah. Yep, for sure. Yeah. Definitely a good idea to use some bug spray here as a preventative medicine. This is a great sign. Bienvenidos a los pulmones del mundo. It means welcome to the lungs of the world. What do you think, Bill? You ready to hit the water? I'm ready, man. And there's always a resident lazy dog. So these boats are real safe. And this is our pontoon. Felix is our captain today, our local guide. <laughs> because this area is a delta and we're near where the Sierpe River flows into the Pacific Ocean, the river can be quite muddy. This part of Costa Rica has one of the largest mangrove forests in all of Central America. And here you can see the water level at high tide. So now it's a matter of just kind of floating and see what we can see. But we have to keep a sharp eye. Anything from crocodiles to bats to owls and monkeys, snakes, all that good stuff. Just so nice to see people going about their everyday lives on the edge of the Sierpe River. Always look for reflections in the water. Sometimes we tend to just look up, but reflections in the water can get you some really nice, unique shots. So in this tree, we're seeing like nine or 10 iguanas. Oh, there's like four or five more over here. Holy cow. Check out this juvenile mangrove hawk drying his wings. Big black river turtle right there. Jesus Jones. We're all just commenting how clean this river is and how the people take 
great pride in their homes and their natural resources here in Costa Rica. It's, it's really wonderful. Very important. So bad very important. Lots of homes right here on the river's edge. They are heavy. To be quite honest, I'm not sure if this was a two-toed or three-toed sloth. As we head back to shore, our Sierpe River cruise has unfortunately come to an end. If you enjoy getting incredibly close to wildlife in its natural habitat, along with wide open spaces, expansive and empty beaches, friendly people, great food and more, then you need to visit the Osa Peninsula. Click the link in the description for more information on my Costa Rica Explorer Tour if you'd like to go with me. If you'd like to pick up a free copy of my 47-page Wildlife Photography Tips eBook to help you prepare for travel and photography in Costa Rica, then simply follow the link in the description below. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.